Gute and welcome to this video called First Look to Koki Studio. Just in case you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I'd say without further ado, further ado, without further ado, <laughs> let's, let's go and take a look to uh, Koki Studio, which is a web-based application. So let's open our browser first and go to koki.com. A I. So um, let's see what Koki Studio has to offer. AI voices you can direct. We have emotional stuff, um, use cases for video games, post production, dubbing, and much more. So voice cloning. This is uh, probably a highly required or requested, highly requested uh, feature um, to clone a voice from just three seconds of audio. We can design our dream voice. So uh, we have emotion, we can adjust pace. Uh, we have fancy look in advanced editor. We have multiple takes. We can have a timeline editor, project management included, and some features to come in future. And we can listen to some of the sample, some of the sample, uh, to some of the sample voices that has been created artificially with Koki Studio. So let's listen to them. First, put away your sword. Only one of us walks out of here. At this rate, we'll never make it. Okay, please let me know what you think. But honestly, in my opinion, this is really sounding impressive. Why Koki? And here we have this point, pay for what you use. So Koki Studio or usage of Koki Studio isn't completely free, but in the free trial we have 30 minutes of synthesis time. And um, honestly, I'm not quite sure if this means that you have 30 minutes of pure audio that you can arrange and work with in Koki Studio, or if this is 30 minutes of computing time to synthesize the audio. But this should be all for the introduction, and now let's go! So you have to register yourself an account on the Koki AI Koki AI web page. Um, try now for free. I already have registered an account. And uh, the web front is pretty simple and straightforward and really clean. We have a navigation with my projects, empty at the moment, some sample projects and an API. Uh, so you can integrate Koki Studio in your existing applications by using an application programming interface. Let's take a look to the sample projects and to the personalities. And these voices are quite familiar from the main page. And <laughs> so um, this phrase has been from my previous tests. But uh, nevertheless, if you haven't, please subscribe to my channel. So listen to this voice. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. True, true. <laughs> so, but, so we can see um, at least... At this rate, we'll never make it some of these voices don't we, come to me asking for favors we've uh, listened on the main page so but let's go back to the projects and let's create a new project from scratch so create new test project test description super creative wow so test project and let's open this one. So we have just one line, we have one scene, so we can create multiple scenes um, to array for arrangement. But let's start with scene one. Um, on the left side we have this voice name and as you can see by the drop down box there are plenty of voices that are available. Um, you can create a custom voice. I've created one uh, as a clone by myself in previous tests, but let's start from scratch and delete this one. So let's start with one of the default voices. If you uh, star one of these voices or multiple of these voices, this will be on top of the list. So it makes it easier to, uh, it's easier to find them. So let's play around with that. Enter line of text. This is one voice and as you can see by this rotating bubble um, 
Koki Studio automatically synthesizes the audio when you change the text or the emotion or the speech rate or use the advanced editor. So you do not have to struggle with synthesizing the audio by any command line arguments or stuff like that. This is done by Koki Studio automatically in the background, which is really a pretty nice feature. So let's listen to this line. This is one voice. Okay. Um, you can add multiple lines. So let's use another speaker. And I am another voice. And I am another voice. So, so we have two lines of text with uh, two different speakers. And we have on the bottom of this page this arrange era area era area well so the part at the bottom part we can um, arrange the voices so what we cannot do we cannot overlap or overlay or whatever uh, the voices so there's just one voice speaking at one point in time but i can add uh, a break for example by moving uh, this voice uh, to the right and I can grab on the upper um, window here, I can grab this point and move voices up and down. And as you can see, simultaneous, this will change order in um, this um, range part here. So we can switch the, the order and we can add breaks. And we can listen to these samples by hitting this play button. And I am another voice. This is one voice. So you can uh, listen to each line. You can uh, listen to the, the arranged version. So, but let's play around with some uh, additional adjustments like emotion. So, and I am another voice. So this is the neutral one. Let's make it happy. And I am another voice. Okay, so you can definitely hear a change and let's make it angry. And I am another voice. Um, I'm not pretty sure if you would guess the emotion right because the text does not really have any emotional context. So by just hearing a neutral text in an angry emotion, I'm not too sure if you would get the emotion right. But normally uh, your text will... Uh, will reflect the chosen uh, emotion. So let's go back to, well, let's make it happy. Happy, happy, happy. So uh, we have the speech rate. Let's make it a little bit faster. And I am another voice. Okay, maybe too fast, but it just should show the, 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 what's possible. And what's really cool is that advanced editor. So you can change the pitch and the energy of each word. So, and I am another voice. So let's just make it. And I am another voice. Let's change another. I will put it to the maximum, not because it's useful, but more to show you that there's a difference. And I am another voice. <laughs> so, okay, it's really not useless, at, uh, useful at all. So, or the upside. And I am another voice. So, you guess, or I hope you get the idea. So, and if adjusting pitch and energy for each word, no, or the, yeah, each word in your phrase is not enough for whatever reason, you can enable the phoneme level edit. And here you can see for each word all the phonemes that this word is, uh, is based on. And you can adjust each phoneme by itself. So, wow, there's no more granularity, granularity. There's no go any deeper. So I have no idea how you would like to go any, any, any deeper. You can really adjust in this advanced editor every phoneme of your text. You can add a new take. So play around with multiple settings here and compare. You can um, rename um, your takes. Um, new take, take one. 
can rename it to renamed take. Oh, I'm so creative. Mm, sorry for that. But okay, so you can rename the take, you can download the, the WAV file, or you can export the complete arranged uh, phrases with all the voices included. So let's export this one. And now we have a test project, scene one joint, and this uh, includes all the, uh, the complete arranged waves. And, and I am another voice. This is one voice. Okay, so uh, I guess you get the idea. If not, please let me know in the comments if I should uh, show you one or so, a step in more de in more detail. But I guess this is really self-explaining. Check this clone part because this is something that might be interesting for lots of people. So let's not just choose a default voice and I've removed my custom voice, but add a custom voice. And uh, we can clone my voice or clone your, you can clone your voice, not my voice. I can clone my voice. You can clone your voice. Um, you can vo make voice fusion. So you can choose two voices and just between these two voices, or you can click a prompt to voice and create or write a prompt as written here uh, with an older man with British accent. So, um, this voice does not exist. Yeah, so let's make it a younger man. This voice does not exist. So small, but maybe hearable difference. So you can um, create uh, voices by prompt. You can fusion or you can fuse between two voices and you can clone your voice. Keep down background noise for that. Avoid, uh, avoid uh, long pauses. Uh, do not stutter or stammering. Um, and this is important, the cloned voice will have an American English accent. Um, I'm not super sure, but uh, I guess I'm right. Uh, I think that the base text-to-speech model that is based on this voice cloning has been trained on American English voice data sets. And um, so I guess voice cloning, at least at the moment, um, is just available for English voice. And this is, I guess I'm right because the reference phrase you have to record is an English phrase. But uh, let's give this a try. Allow access to your microphone. Once upon a time, the king's youngest son became filled with the desire to go abroad and see the world. So, Let's give this voice a name. Review recording. Once upon a time, the king's youngest son became filled with the desire to go abroad and see the world. Should be good enough and create your clone. So this is, this is so impressively simple. So record three phrases, no, three seconds, one phrase, three seconds, and uh, click create a uh, clone. So now I have this uh, Torsten voice in the custom tab. Let's enter a line. This is my cloned voice. And let's listen to that. This is my clone voice. Um, I'm not too sure, but <laughs> obviously I cannot be objective in this case because it's my voice. But maybe you can give me feedback. Does this sound like me? I'm not too sure. So let's listen again. This is my cloned voice. This is my cloned voice. Would be the original. This is my cloned voice. This is my cloned voice. Um, maybe it's 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 close, but it's um. But uh, it, uh, nevertheless, let me know in the comments if this is uh, close to my original voice. Um, and let's add a new line. And just for the fun, let's choose my custom cloned voice and enter a German phrase. Dieser, dieser Satz ist lediglich ein kleiner Test. So this phrase is uh, just a short uh, test. So let's play back. 
Dieser Satz ist lediglich ein kleiner Test. <laughs> so, sorry for, for, for laughing, but um, uh, all the German native speaker, they will understand why, uh, why I have to laugh. This is really a super American English accent. So let's listen again. Dieser Satz ist lediglich ein kleiner Test. <laughs> So, definitely fun to play around with, but honestly, um, at least in other languages than American English or English, um, this is more fun than being really useful in a serious um, use case. But um, it's definitely fun to play around with. And I guess that uh, Koki will uh, adjust more and more features to Koki Studio uh, soon. Please let me know in the, in the comment box what you think on this video on Koki Studio. And do not forget to subscribe to my channel, as this really helps me and this channel a lot. I hope you liked it. I wish you all a nice rest of the day. And if you like, we might see us next time. Bye!